Hello, dear friends, and welcome to the island of Tropico. I shall be your El Presidente today. My name is Zero. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the very first Let's Play Let's Plays with Zero. Basically, what this is going to be is... Uh... Not so much Let's Plays as much as it is a couple of episodes following a particular game. And it's just going to not be first look, but it's not going to be Let's Play, it's going to be a tad bit of both formats. And I think it's the best way I can utilize time and money. So, I decided I'm just going to play a game where I could just build whatever the heck I want to start out with. And that shall be tropical. Now I actually have a bit of a city built up, just so you don't have to see the basics of me throwing down farms to feed people and waiting 10 hours to do so. So let us go to the island of tropical. Any day now. Ah, there we go. Excellent. As you can see, I am horribly in debt. I, I, I may have spent far, far too much money on building stuff, and now I'm very far in the hole. Oh, crap. Great concern has seized me as I watch how the rest of Tropical more urgently demands elections with each month. It is obvious that you should rule us all, and holding elections is like asking your dogs whether they like their master. <clears throat> no, because that'll just piss people off. That's a terrible idea. Okay, so just to kind of show you guys, this is my city. I have... It's almost like all mothers-in-law suddenly left the country. Wow. Harsh. I have farms out here. I have mines out here. I have an oil well out here in the middle of nowhere. Yes, this is a volcano. Yes, it is steaming. It's probably going to erupt soon. But just to show you, <clears throat> this is the faction screen. These are all the people who run the country. You have your hippies, you have your capitalists, you have your communists, you have your intellectuals, the religious, the military, the nationalists, the loyalists. And essentially, you try to get the highest possible percentage with them so that you could get a nice little boost from when the elections come in, or you could just completely piss them off and not throw elections and just rule as a dictator. Uh, you have your five basic factions here that are foreign. You have the U.S., the USSR, not Russia, guys. Uh, you have the EU, China, Middle East. Middle East is oil, China's luxury goods, EU's intellectual and tech, USSR is communism and money, United States is capitalism and money. These two countries give you tourism, these three countries are essentially trade partners. You want to try and keep all of them happy, because if you piss off uh, these three, they will embargo you, which means no trade. If you piss off one of these two, they will invade your country. And a tiny, a tiny island nation versus a superpower you will lose. So as you can see with trade here, I have $77,000 going out. I'm making $104,000 in income. I have money down here in the corner. I probably probably should be getting more housing considering all these shacks down here now you see all these shacks are people who cannot afford housing so I really should probably be building an apartment about the growing friendship between Tropical and the EU. I just came back from a splendid luncheon with my dear friend El Presidente. I can assure you that as long as I get to eat your scrumptious tropical scones with my tea, the relations between our countries will remain splendid. 
Okay, as you could tell, there's little radio announcements here and there from different involvements you have with other countries. Right here is Edix. Edix is basically uh, projects you can undertake, like education. You could have a literacy program. You could have same-sex marriage, burn books, um, go fully religious. <clears throat> Here is you can have like all these trade missions with the US, US and USSR. Um, I'm actually going to be looking at probably trying to do something. Free housing. How am I doing with the capitalists? That might be bad. Actually, I don't really have much crime safety. That's not good. Ooh. Okay, so this Ministry of Foreign Affairs, essentially this is, this is where you put the top people who are going to help run your country. If you don't have them, you cannot have uh, edicts, which are the special abilities. So you want to try and get the best ministers you can possible. So, like, these two people, both of them are terrible because they have both poor and below average. So, I'm not going to have a Secretary of the Interior for a while. Presidente, may your children be many and your camels always healthy. I want to discuss trade with you. <clears throat> okay, this is actually a really, really good one. Because it's export 100 weapons. Now, this second part is the one I'm looking at. You get the Weapons Factory Blueprint, which is literally like five to $10,000 free. You get that for free for accepting this mission, so you would be a fool not to. So do that. My apartments are going up, which is beautiful. Um, yeah, see, Weapons Factory. Oh, it harms foreign relations while doing so. That's... Not bueno. Okay. Let's try and fit this on the coast. Ooh. Ah, there we go. Excellent. Got to fit. Okay, if... So basically what I try to do is build up a bit of tourism with this beach down here. Hotels over here. There's a tourism dock here. Essentially, if you get high tourism, you will get high amounts of money. Plus, I have salt mines. I have mines running. That's armory. That's not salt mines. That's iron mines. You have oil well out there making money. Let's go bird watching. I no, I don't care about bird watching. What exactly does the new factory produce, Penultimo? Sprockets. Huge demand for them in the U.S. Such a big, well-guarded factory to produce rockets. Also, bomb holders, paperweights, and stuff like that. Definitely not weapons of any kind. Not weapons of any kind. Got it. So yes, that's another one of those silly little things that they throw in there just for the humor. Okay, airport is really freaking awesome to have. But I'm not quite sure if I want to have it down here because of crop conditions. Uh, I can grow papaya. I can't grow coffee, tobacco. I can grow lots of sugar down here. Yeah, I don't think I actually want to be running any kind of airport down here. In fact, I want to run airports up here because it's pure desert. So, literally nothing will grow. So, it would be the best use of the land just to throw an airport up here and run a road over. So, that's actually what I'm going to do. Just an airport in the middle of the desert. Uh the road up. Ooh. Yes, and for some reason roads only go out so far. I don't quite know why. 
But yeah, we're going to have an airport bringing in all kinds of tourists. Unfortunately, the construction <clears throat> plans for our ambitious new project are falling behind schedule, Presidente. Yes, thank you for the tip. In fact, I wonder if I can... Anybody decent? No. I want to see if I can find my garages somewhere around here. No, it's a sweatshop. It's a bank. That's a college. Grade school. Police. Police. Hotel. Pub. Take a look. At these charts, Presidente. I don't care about the resources. I'm doing my best. Where are my construction offices? Oh. There are actually no upgrades. Okay, so here's the thing. There's actually upgrades that you can buy. Let me just show you right quick. Like these down here, you could have upgrades which give you certain benefits, but they cost a lot of extra money. Like here, I can actually get climate control for a little bit of power, which gets improved housing quality, makes people happier. Now, I actually have a lot of people without homes. That's actually a big issue. I honestly need to build quite a few different houses. So... Yeah, let's get a little bit of a road going back here. Oh, crap. Um, that's fine. That's fine. I could just... Well, I may have some poor building design. <laughs> oh, crap. This is bad. This is really bad. Um, I'm going to have to connect them some other way. Well, crap. I may have blocked myself in a little bit. Crap. Um. Yeah, I kind of blocked myself in a bit because I'm an idiot. That's fine. That's fine. President <coughs> Tropicans await elections next year. They wish to show their everlasting love and respect for you. They may have used different words, but that does not matter. Okay, so this is basically the elections that they have every couple of years. If you're doing bad, your opponent will get more votes, and you can just shut it down entirely. If you're doing good, you'll get more votes. This actually pushes you towards capitalism, which capitalism pushes you towards the U.S. and really makes the USSR angry, as well as the loyalists, which are loyal to you. So let's address a hot issue, which would be housing. Uh, praise the spirits. We probably should do environmentalists, because the environmentalists hate us, and this will give us plus 10 respect with them. We really should do good health care because I know, I, I know we have terrible health care. I'd like to address you in this crucial time of our development. In these dire times, we have managed to pull through and have economic growth despite all adversity. I salute you for that fact. Yes, there are problems. There will always be problems, especially in the current economic situation. The shacks in the cities of our country are so much these days. These modern and it will be resolved, as will all others, in time, as the global economy stabilizes. Through the years of my presidency, I have received your gratitude, my good man. Alas. I am nothing but a common servant. You are my masters, my employers. Now is the time to express my gratitude for the environmentalists. Protecting the mother nature is the tropical. Yes, 
Yesterday is gone. Tomorrow will come to end. I have plans for tomorrow. As part of my reform plan for my next mandate, the government will ensure adequate health care levels. God bless you and a good day. So, if you can't tell, we are in debt again, and China. Yes, this will inc Okay, this is an interesting one. Basically, you could just bribe countries, and if you pay them a certain amount of money. Which... Uh, let me double check before I say yes. I... Honestly, don't need it. So I could afford to just blow them off entirely, and... Oh, I'm in debt again. Crap. Well, that sucks. Um... Wow, I'm actually really deep in debt. What is going on there? Oh, I should actually be making money. What the heck? Huh. That's actually really interesting why I'm so deep in debt. If this airport gets up, I will be rolling in money. I will assure you, because tourists love airports. So they'll come in, they'll come down. I have all of these hotels down here, which are completely filled with people. Oh, what? Oh, crap. I just clicked through that. Dang it. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, we just got some aid from the United States and USSR, which means we're not going to be in a completely deep... Oh. Congratulations, President. You have won the elections. However, people are angry because of rumors of fraud. And will not trust in the elections as they once did. I accidentally swayed votes, which I'm, makes people going to hate me. Crap, 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 crap. I didn't need to do that. Crap. Crap. I didn't mean to do that. Crap, crap, crap. I honestly didn't mean to do that. Wow. That... If that doesn't shoot me in the foot, I will be amazed. Oh, crap. That was not good. And I am deep in debt. That is not good. Uh, I'm $40,000. Oh, hello. Y yes, thank you. I can't spend money. I know that. I am deep in the hole. Oh, crap. Okay, $2,000. That's not bad. Ooh, nice. $30,000. Excellent. Job quality. Uh, oh, yes. I need infrastructure. Wind turbine. Wind turbines are a clean way to get power, but wherever they're placed is how much ever power they pull. So like right here, they pull basically no power, while over here by the volcano, they pull plenty because it's a higher area. See, 25 megawatts over here versus about 11 or 12 down here. But it's incredibly vital that you put these up, otherwise you're just going to be massively polluting your people, which is no bueno. So, let's build that, because I want the power. Uh, yes, impact on relations is halved. Holy crap, $90,000 just got shipped out. Surf's up! One awesomely powerful tsunami wave is coming to our shores. Oh crap, this might be bad, because tsunamis... There's natural disasters in this game, and tsunamis are horrible, horrible ones. 
Oh boy, this should be bad. Oh, dicks. My freighter! Oh, that's not mine. Okay, so there's an oil tanker now on my island. And two buildings were destroyed. My foreign office and my bank. Great. So, now I just have this oil tanker. Which is fine, I could just pay to have it removed. And we shall be on our way again. Do we actually have the airport up yet? No, we do not. Holy crap, that takes a lot of money to quick build. Uh, where is this? Can I quick build it for cheap? Oh yeah, I can. So that's fine. We can now do heavy machinery, which will increase production. So, as you can see, we're back. We're back in the black. We're making profits. Well, we were making profits again. But I think that's going to be all for this time. Stay tuned for more Tropico and me failing horribly. And this has been the Zero Man signing off.